this parking lot here was full of fakes last night. So many they had to bring in in an 18 wheeler to cart them all off. This was a Homeland Security investigations and Houston police major offenders operation busting the biggest distributors they say of fake luxury goods like Louis Vuittons in the Houston area. Well into the night, federal agents and Houston police officers were still loading up thousands of pieces of fake items. There were so many, they needed a forklift and semi to get the job done. Earlier, the counterfeit wallets, watches, bags and clothes were laid out, then categorized by brand and item, seized from two warehouse locations in southwest Houston. But it all started with arrests at this Missouri City home. Hello, I'm Jessica with Channel 13. The man who answered the door never reopened it. Neighbors say more than a dozen police cars crowded Calgary Circle early yesterday morning to arrest 53-year-old Shaid Nadim and his 21-year-old son, Sayad. They are under federal indictment for trafficking and counterfeit goods, accused of receiving more than 3,000 shipments from China since 2014, worth more than $14 million. Fakes of Louis Vuitton, Michael Kors, Gucci, Chanel, Burberry, Rolex, and the list goes on. Sources say the father-son team sold the items to people who then resold them. The buyers knew the goods were fake. The Nadims considered the biggest distributors of counterfeit luxury goods in the Houston region, reaching all the way to the valley. We look at the stitching, we look at the zippers, we look at the logos, we look at the coloration. Danae Cromosta is the owner of the vintage Contessa in times past, which buys and sells authentic pre-owned designer bags, jewelry, and watches. She also sits on the board of Crime Stoppers and says don't think what the Nadims are accused of are victimless crimes. Oftentimes these are produced in countries where people who are young, maybe um, not treated well, uh, they're made in sweatshops, and so you're contributing to this society of underground black market. The Nadims each face two criminal counts if convicted, punishable by up to $5 million in fines and 20 years in prison.